So we started naming them after something that's locally specific. We named them after Captain Mullet. And in uh, 1775, October 18th, he pulled into Portland Harbor with five ships and burnt the city down. So we like to say that we're kind of still burning Portland. Captain Mowat's Hot Sauce is a family-run business in Portland, run by the Stevens family. They use a lot of local ingredients and do as much as they can by hand. Dan Stevens started the company after working on an oil rig in Louisiana, where he says he developed a taste for heat. We bring this up because today is National Hot Sauce Day. And while the typical main table doesn't often come with a bottle of Cholula or Sriracha, there are still a lot of connections between the Pine Tree State and the fiery condiment. In fact, one of the most well-known hot sauce brands, Tabasco Pepper Sauce, was founded in Maine back in 1907. A few years ago, a uh, former CEO of Tabasco's parent company was here in Maine for the Maine Business Awards. They surprised him with a copy of the incorporation papers. Our Samantha York sat down with him to talk about Maine and running a family business. I knew that we were incorporated in the state of Maine, so I thought it was a very nice uh, fitting thing to, to, to get that. We have a full-time archivist and historian who works for us, Dr. Shane Bernard. Um, and the uh, the copy uh, will go to our archives to be displayed as, as part of our, our heritage. Very, so. very cool. Did you ever come to Maine as a kid or growing up? Do you have any memories here? No, I have a lot of relatives here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of connection to Maine. Uh, one of my cousins married uh, a, a fellow named Rob Gardner from Gardner, Maine and um, some of my other cousins also live here in Maine, so we have a lot of connection to Maine, but m me personally, no. Yeah, so we mentioned that you are, you're part of the fifth generation of family leadership with the company. What is that like, working with your family? Well, um, family business is, is people talk about all the time. It's very difficult to keep a family business together. Mm -hmm. Only uh, about 12% of family businesses make it to the third generation and somewhere between two and 4% of family businesses make it to the fourth. So fifth, sixth generation family businesses have found a way to keep the family happy and keep the business thriving and, and hit a balance that allows you to hold on to your family business. But yeah. it's, it's tricky. It's unique too. Do you think the, the company would have had the same success if it had used a different model? I don't know. I think one of the big reasons that we are successful and still a family business is where we are. Every bottle of Tabasco in the world is made at Avery There's Island, Louisiana, and, and has been here. since 1868. And, and my family is very connected to Avery Island. It's kind of like the rock that holds our family together. So I think that where we are and the fact that our family identifies so strongly with Avery Island is part of us being able to hold our family business together. Last and probably the most important question that I have for you. What goes better with lobster? Butter or t Tabasco sauce? Yes. <laughs> You, p you take the Tabasco sauce and you put it in the butter oh. and you muddle it and then you put your lobster in the Tabasco sauce <laughs> butter and it's much better. Okay, so best of both worlds. <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to lie, that sounds amazing. It does. I hadn't thought about combining them. Yeah. I would have done either or. Yeah. Bring it on. I like it. All right, both Tabasco and Captain Moitz have roots in the Gulf Coast. But there is one more family-run hot sauce company in Maine that's drawn some national heat. Chris Nielsen has the story from 1999. Usually a couple times a month, you can find Justin Wardwell and his younger brother Luke pumping out a batch of the Mex's homemade hot sauce, a simple yet secret recipe. We don't go for the flame that most of the hot sauce companies go for. We go more for flavor. I mean, it is hot, but it's like a jalapeno hot. That just may be why this spicy stuff is so popular with a company called Belly Busters. They use it when they cater to Hollywood celebrities. They've gotten singer James Taylor hooked on the hot sauce. Justin says James Taylor likes it so much, he called Justin last week to place an order. If you go to the Belly Busters catering and they, they pretty much set up these tables and they have the hot sauce, they set the hot sauce right on the tables. Well, him and his band would steal a few bottles of hot sauce and bring it onto the bus so they could have it for their pizza. James Taylor isn't the only celebrity who seems to love this stuff. This is a fact from the band ZZ Top ordering a case of the Mex's hot concoction. 
a concoction the Wardwells have been whipping up for 20 years. There's always a bottle on every table in the Mex restaurant, so hot sauce lovers like Suzanne Dodge can use it. It's very, very hot, and it's very good, and I really like things hot. <laughs> and hearing it's such a hot commodity may turn others onto it, too. Now that I've discovered that James Taylor likes the hot sauce here, I, I may have to try it. A sauce that's getting hotter than the Wardwells ever thought it would be. Chris Nielsen reporting in 1999. The Mex in Ellsworth has since closed down, but the family continues to sell their sauces, which you can now order online.